Okay. This is the scat engine. Just showing a look inside. A bit different than the last time we've seen it. We're going to put the barrels on it. And um, had a good look inside there, and all the uh, Conrod big ends were sort of uh, bluish colour that you can just see there. See that blue there? Um, and usually, when the big end on a rod goes blue, it's usually blue as heat, and the only way a big end heats up is lack of oil. So, um, we've pulled the rods out of it, and we found that the, even though they were blue, Pretty good condition, brand new, just about brand new. There, it's got little scuff marks on them, but not too much. And then we've looked at the rod, and the rod's been resized. This motor, uh, my customer bought from the United States, and um, he got it out here. and. Uh, they went to start it, had no compression, so basically all it's here for is just a um, no start like a compression problem um, till we found this. And um, so we've pulled the rods out and we've obtained that yes, the crankshaft has been ground and is in very good condition. So it hasn't been run since whoever's touched this last time has touched it. You can see there, like it's beautiful. It definitely has had a big end problem in its last life. So they've obviously uh, ground the crank and uh, done the rods up, which is all well and good. But um, why would it have run a big end in the first place? Especially on a nice motor like this, it's got a big uh, dry sump, so the lack of oil shouldn't be a problem. And um, we did a bit more further investigation and uh, we found that the oil pump drive shaft which has got a tang on the end of it it drives off the end of the camshaft it's broken when we've pulled the pump off the front cover here oh well, that comes out of there that's where the bolt pumps to in the front cover and the actual oil pump drives off that slot there it's a tiny little tang that, that fit in there and when we pulled the pump off, it was just sitting there, all the broken pieces still, still in here. So, we pulled down the pump, and we found that the pump is severely, severely worn. All inside here, it's a massive wear. It's only an aluminium housing, and these steel gears, I don't know if you'd be able to pick it up, but on the very end of this, like scuff marks, they're worn severely. So what's happened, I'd, I'd say, is because of all that excessive clearance and and uh, movement there, that the, the, the drive shaft of the pump is actually seized momentarily, and with the cam still wanting to turn, uh, it was broken that tang. So if um, I did what the customer said and basically just done the um, cylinders here, so we've got all prepped and machined and painted and ready to install. Um, we would have put all the barrels and heads back on it and um, old mate would have uh, thrown it in the race car, started up, and this baby would have lasted all but 30 seconds. We would have had spun bearings on everything, mains, big ends, it would have destroyed the block the crankshaft, the conrods, um, it would have been game over for this little girl. Also, uh, as we're finding out things, we've, um, this is a scat, scat block, you can see there. It, it's, um, it goes a bit better than that. It's actually what they call a scat killer case, which uh, they've run bigger, bigger studs through the block, um, better oil oiling system on it. Uh, media chunky um, main webbing area um, they've uh, got facility too for big bores compared to you know a normal standard um, block and um, that's what she is she's very nice and clean inside so it just tells you that someone's actually you know fixed all the bottom end actually gone to the trouble of pulling it all apart 
putting the crankshaft back in it and the rods and assembling it all up and if anything what they've done is put this old worn out oil pump back on a brand spanking new big dollar engine um, so always um, go through and check everything so that's what we think has happened over there it's run out of oil pressure because of the pump um, in turn it's spun all the bearings and put all that um, melted metal and tiny bits of aluminium and, and everything and uh, steel from the back of the bearings um, right through the oil pump again which has just uh, accentuated the problem and gone through anything else so we've pulled it right down and uh, what we're up for is just a brand new pump it's going to be a few dollars there and uh, away we go away we go again so uh, as we get into this I'll uh, turn the old camera back on and uh, do a little bit more as we get the barrels and everything uh, ready to go so um, I can um, start getting into that now I can uh, assemble really the, the barrels push rods, heads uh, everything up to a long motor just except for the um, front cover and the dry sump pump so that's our scat as it is now but at least now we've found the problem it could have been chaos so or devastation for someone not me but sometimes you've just got to do a little bit more than what's asked of you and you'll save yourself a lot of problems in the future so there you go there's the scat <laughs>